everyone. He's Eddie Olchek. Ray Ferraro will be coming along in just a moment. And I'm Mike Emrick. And here we are again. It's back-to-back -back games, and so there hasn't been much time to rest. As a coach, how do you manage everything? Well, it's very important that you use all four lines. You use your complement of six defensemen. I think it's also up to the players as well, Doc, to have short shifts. You can't get caught out there for a minute and a half or two minutes. you got to make sure you have discipline in your game. But that'll be a real key in the outcome of this game. Let's look at the starting netminders. Corey Schneider gets the start, developed with the U.S. national team, then Boston College, then the American Hockey League, then Vancouver, then with the legend Marty Brodeur. He's learned his trade well. This man's the starter tonight as the season rolls on so many hours with the goalie coach, and it's worked for him and for the visitors. Opening faceoff is just seconds away. Pittsburgh's got the puck, and they get to make the first play. Tigers didn't play well enough to get the win in their last game. The coach has asked them to get back to their game tonight. Slid to Latang. Gives it over to the point. On to Latang for the one-timer. The Tigers in possession as they travel through center ice. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. Play is halted right now, so it's a chance to hear from Ray Ferraro. Schneider's play this season has been so consistent. He's got an excellent win-loss record. He doesn't give up the bad goal when it's a crippling time for a team. He makes the big save when he has to. And as a result, the penalty killing's been really good, and they have enough confidence to be aggressive offensively to put enough numbers up on the board. Okay, Ray, thank you. A good stick there, so no complete pass. He retreats back with the puck. Gains the zone. He throws it there. Puck covered, whistle blown. A little over four minutes played here in the first. Game still waiting for its first goal. Quick work on the faceoff. He won't avoid something for doing that. Oh, he's bent over, pushing himself slowly to the bench after that huge hit he received. Great poke check. Denied by the defense. Puck loose. Not much going on now. It looks a little bit like a tennis match where they're just bumping the ball back and forth to each other. No attack yet. Took that pass perfectly off the wing. Takes that pass from the other point. Waffle boarded. Great job on a cut pass. Enormous hit. This is not going to be a game for quiet players. You're going to need to be physical. Oh, stick save. Puck is thrown to Kunakel. And he keeps it going out of his own end. Gets in. What will he do? Puck skipped loose. He's knocked to a knee. And he's hammered. He might have seen him at the last minute to absorb that hit. Up the wing, skating with it now. Free puck now. Possession gained by Mueller. The battle continues. He can't get free. Trying to get something generated up the wing. Kicked out of the scrum. Shoots one. Tennessee's in their own end, lugging it along. Nicely into the zone. Gathered up again by Stafford. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Let's it go. Score! Quick release on that snapper. Enzo, I got a good look at this one. He's in the butterfly. It looks from my position like he's got the entire net covered. Obviously, there's a little bit open. Stafford's come up strong here for his team, ending a scoreless game. There was a feeling out process until that first goal of the game. 
And that's a face-off win. Gets in, looks over his options here. One into another. Hatchets one. Outstanding glove save. Severson's skating ability gets him into position here to deliver a crushing hit. Just a hair over five minutes left to go in the period. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's one nothing. Directing that one to Hornquist. Gets in and he'll look over his options. Not a hard hit, but effective. It's lost. Oh, what a great keep. Terrific save with a pad. Great block, and he's able to just keep it working. Oh, and he's hammered. What a hit. There goes his brain bucket. Goalie to the bench. Extra attacker out. Propelled to Alexia. Looking for options. Sends it across the blue line. Looking for options. On the half boards to Malkin. Robbery there. What control. Referee over to the penalty box, and let's find out. Severson's getting a two-minute boarding penalty. Yeah, as you can see here, Doc, no chance for the attacking player to protect themselves. So that's why it's a two-minute penalty. Pittsburgh's power play gets a five-on-three, and it's a long one. Let's see how they perform. Nearing the final minute. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. They score! And they've tied the game up! Latang's ability to be able to shoot the puck that hard and put it where he wants is amazing. The passer recognizes that he's got to get the puck up in the air, but he displays sweet hands as it goes just over the stick and lands flat on the ice. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Gains the zone. Around to the corner. And at an angle to Boyle. Little pass from his goalie here. Last minute of play in the first period. Inside the final minute, those cursed goal. Oh, terrific save on a great chance. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. They've taken the heat off again. The clock still moves. Puck's loose off the enemy this time. Kessel's trying to do way too much there with that offensive opportunity. Cleared back out so more players can spill over the boards. Laid on. Score! A shorthanded goal! Well, as a penalty killer, you're worried about keeping the puck out of your own net, but when you can have an opportunity to go on the offense, you got to take advantage, and that's exactly what happened there. And so good airtime on this pass. Flat when it lands and the shooter has a walk-in. Tennessee's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. Scored shorthanded by number 12. Ben and ben they are in. By number 45. Held to the glass. Scrum over, puck kicked. Time of the goal, 19 minutes, 36 seconds. A shot, terrific challenge, outstanding save. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. And the first frame has been completed here. These two teams are separated by just a goal. Are you ready for a walk down memory lane? Then it's time to sign up for our fantasy camp. Play hockey with childhood heroes. It's a fun-filled week full of memories. Call us for details, or you can visit the team. The difference in the game is just one goal, and it came late in that period. Will it springboard to something more in the second? We'll see, but for now, we go to break.
Pittsburgh's power play unit will have to be quick. Not many seconds remaining on this advantage. Two guys together with force. Big force. Kessel's going to have to pick himself up after that one. He got steamrolled. They've clearly got the target on him. Pittsburgh seeing the penalty clock bleeding down to the last few seconds. Moved along and in. The Tigers have killed off the penalty. Penalty box is empty for them. Well, they had a couple of really good chances there, but weren't able to cash in. And so now that the power play is... Got a piece of that one. Score! That one ricocheted off a member of the defense. I think he believes he's got the whole net covered, Eddie, but he's left open the low stick side, beaten pretty cleanly. The Tigers have now built a lead of two. Perhaps they can build on it even more before the end of the second period. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Chip to Palmieri. Cranks one. Score! Off the iron and in. Well, he had a lot of time and space there to let that wicked shot go from far out. That is a heavyweight shot. The goaltender thinks he's in great shape here to make the save. This is a perfect shot delivered to the inside of the goal post. Sometimes you get the bounce, sometimes you don't. This time, the shooter got it. The Tigers have gotten another goal on a night of many goals. What a satisfying night for them, and their coach won't have much to say. Slid to Hornquist. Got that tremendous scoring chance. Two minutes, six seconds. A little under three minutes played here in the second. Do you see a pattern developing here? They're up now by three. Wow, what a hit. What, the gloves are off, and here we go. Oh, that was not a good hit at all. Now somebody's coming to the aid of the fallen teammate. This fight on that punch has ended. That's got to hurt. What a way to leave your mark. Well, these guys will have five minutes to get back dressed and get ready to go again at some point. Tennessee's in possession as they move up the wing. Shoots one, pat the side. Back in his defensive end to get it. Gets across, looks over his options. Got the pad on that one. Good quick poke check there. A giveaway. Jostled partway down, he lost it. Loose puck, good defensive denial. Moving it to Johansson. Nice tip of the pass. Pushing it on up the wing. Passed one right between the circles. Puck loose. Strong defensive play by Johansson. Slid back across from one point to the other. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Point to point to Latang. Oh, a save. Tries to clear. Strength and support in the offensive zone. Gotta love it. He is shut right off. Latang's not shy to throw his body around here at any time. But guys, he's hurt. He's slow to his feet. He's slow back to the bench, and the trainer's waiting for him. Pass attempt to Hayes. Can't get a shot on him. Perfect pass, tape to tape. He's got it at center ice from right wing. Drag between the blue lines. Onside. Good job with the stick. 
Terrific interception. Big drive. Deflected off the blocker. Chiseled down. Snaps it on goal. Great glove save. Oh, he thought he had him on the glove side. Guys, bold jarring hit here. He was hurt immediately. A little under eight minutes still showing on the clock this period. Do you see a pattern developing here? They're up now by three. Nice face-off work. Pushing it on through center. Takes that pass at center, see if we can move something. He takes that pass right off the left wing. Got it at the point. Receives that pass from the other side. Puck loose now picked up. That one's right on his stick from the right side. It's dumped back in. That'll help the defense to get to the bench. Shoots! Just couldn't find the target. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. To the point it comes. Save! Collected by Palmieri. Chooses the corner. Pressure is intense. Who can get it out of there? Oh, bad giveaway there. On to Shiri. Didn't get through. Heads on to the corner. Propelled to Cole. Good solid defensive play there. Into the last minute of the second period. He's got that point pass. Great stick save. Up the wing and still with it. Good chat. No chance on the pass. You could almost count that one, but no. Muscled right off it. 40 minutes have been played. A rest is deserved. Period is over. Sad to say we could show you a lot like this, but we picked only one. Heartbreaking for him. Back in a moment. Forty minutes down, at least twenty minutes to go. What are your thoughts so far? Tennessee's up, Doc, here with a pretty solid lead, but they know that their opponent's going to come after them. So let's see how they play it. Will they be defensive first or look to add to the lead that they have? It is the third period, and we are underway. And he's all alone. Wonderful save. Didn't go for the deep there. Hung right over him and couldn't get it past. The goalie makes himself look big. Pittsburgh's coaching staff is always prodding their players to be more aggressive, to finish checks, to separate body from puck. They don't have to tell him. He's always among the highest hit totals in the league. Strong play on that faceoff. You have to be strong to hold that other guy off. Shot on. Locks on that. The Seavers. Let's it go. Puck covered. Whistle blown. That's a good stop for the goaltender to make on the odd man rush, but the shooters have to be better than that. Tied up, but a good reach and a good step in there for possession. Blocked away. That one comes right on his stick. Not very long, but good. Gives it to the point. That's a good glove save. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near it. Solid, clean win. Pass up that right wing, and he's got it. Pass through center ice. He takes that one right ahead. Good pass. 
Tennessee's accelerating ahead through the neutral zone. Back in front. Bumped, loses. Two sticks together, it goes to the offense. Takes that pass at center ice. Gains the blue line. A good stick there, so no complete pass. He covers and holds on. Over seven minutes have gone by in the third. A three-goal edge. On the big board, it says four to one. Defensive zone win. Oh, great cut. And now it's directed to Hayes. Laid on to Cole. Into the end of attack. It's gotten behind the net. Great glove save, but it's loose. Lovejoy is carrying it back in his own end, hoping for neutral ice. And he gains the zone. Got it in his own end. Pittsburgh's moving it up the wing. Shoots, gloved. Well, the hands are quicker than a glove. Great save. And let's hear again from Ray. Schneider's been incredibly stable tonight. Any chance that's come his way, he's snuffed it out. He's given his team so much confidence. That's a championship performance tonight. Look how fortunate his team is that he's played like this. No, you're right, Ray. Eddie and I agree. It's just another one in a long line of tremendous performances by him. Good job on the draw. The Tigers wheel it up the wing. Up to the point. Oh, how can they miss that pass? Trying to go to Hornquist. Pitching it to Cole. Pittsburgh's continuing to probe up the wing. Looking to Malkin. Gains the zone and looks over his options. They battle on up the wing. Brings a shot. With no time whatsoever, he turned it aside. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Quick work on the faceoff. Man, oh man, what a hit. There was a pretty good boom when they went into the boards. That is a solid hit. Great job slipping on by. Out in front. Let's go, Arister. Chip to Palmieri. Big save. Oh, it's there. Squeeze for a whistle. It sounds like a train wreck down where I'm standing. Really solid shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder hit. Possession established. Good reach there. Freezes play. up there and a good reach and possession. It's an onside play. Fires! Strong shooter against a strong goaltender and the guy with a trapper won. Tie up and a help from the winger. Shooting! That shot went badly wide. As the shooter was about to let it go, the puck just... Score! He got ironed with that shot. The shooter had a couple of different options here. He could pass or shoot. He decided on the ladder and beat the goaltender clean. Now, they say the post is the goalie's friend. Well, sometimes it's not. This just deflects off the post. It goes into the net behind him. We have a winner.
A little pass that can start some progress ahead. Good shooting place. Passing one off now to Zajac. Pitching this one to Johansson. And he carries it up the wing. Slid to Severson. Wonderful block. Gets in. What'll he do? Shoots one. Score! They're back to within one. a surprise with the wrist shot. Get the goaltender in between. It's not how hard you shoot it, it's how quick you release it. And that was a quick release. Really good positioning. He's in the butterfly where he's got most of the net covered. But there's obviously a hole in the pucks behind him. Pittsburgh's deficit is only one because of that last goal. Let's see if they can tie it up here in the third. They've got the draw. On to Lovejoy. Knocked it away with the stick. And that's an offside. 18 minutes, 42 seconds. We are in the last minute of regulation time. Snapping a pass to Reeves. Nicely into the zone. Turned a shot on net. Blockered away. Looking from the blue line. Pittsburgh's carrying it in their own zone. Maintaining possession up the wing. Goalie pulled, net empty. Extra man is out. Puck is thrown to Hayes. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Oh, and he's hit yet again. He's in retreat now in his defensive zone. Directing that one to Boyle. Net open. A great opportunity, but he missed the net. Wanting to generate something here in the defensive zone. Net empty. Let the shot go. A magnificent save. The last one of the night. The game is over. And there it is. The game is over. The game is over. A tremendous game that it was. It had a little bit of everything, a lot of entertainment. People got their money's worth, Doc. A fun game for us. We hope it was for you. That's our show. More games to come. If they match this one, they will be special. So long for now.